Okay, well, from cookies and calories, don't feel guilty if you eat some cookies, but a lot of people deal with mom guilt. Uh, the pressure to carry it all and to do it all is so real for so many women today. Award-winning journalist, author, podcast host, mom, Paula Ferris, championing working moms in her new book, You Don't Have to Carry It All, Ditch the Mom Guilt and Find a Better Way Forward. I have it in my hot little hands. And Paula is with us right now. It is so good to see your face. We go back to our days in New York City together. I know, Adrian. and I was just back in our old stomping grounds this past week in New I York City. I saw you with Jimmy Fallon so and all fun. kinds of people. It was so fun, and it was just my honor to just beat the drum for mothers in the workplace to make sure that we are celebrated and not scrutinized, to make sure that we are actually paid and valued. So it's my honor. We had a great time in New York City. Yeah, and we're showing some photos now from my Instagram because I still have all those pictures of us working in yes. studio together, working uh, on the royal wedding together in London uh, back yep. in 2018. But yes, what we you're doing the weekend, we were on the weekend desk at Good Morning America. We had a great time, Adrian. We had a great <laughs> time and we had great camaraderie. That team was so yeah, important and, and so, so fun. Uh, but you're creating a whole other team. I mean, a huge community around right. working moms. So your latest chapter, you founded this Carry <clears throat> Media Company. And yeah. I thought it was amazing. Moms work an average of 98 hours a week. Yeah, it's crazy. So I founded Carrie. You know, you turn your pain into your purpose, right, Adrian? I lost my job at ABC News at the beginning of the pandemic, like a lot of other moms. I formed Carrie Media, which means we just want to carry the burdens of mothers and women because we're carrying so much. And then I decided to write this book. It was just oozing out of me as journalists. We're supposed to suss out inequities. And it, it, I learned that it wasn't just feeling. It was fact, Adrian, that once you become a mother in this country, you're paid less, um, you are valued less, and you're scrutinized more. We make 70 cents on the dollar compared to fathers. Those numbers are even more egregious for, for mothers of color. All of a sudden, we're not deemed viable leaders anymore once we become moms. We're passed over on promotions and scrutinized. And you mentioned the mom guilt. We're struggling with mom guilt because there's this unrealistic expectation of what it means to be a mother in America and then the record levels of burnout. So I wrote this book, put my journalist hat on, interviewed all kinds of experts. It's helpful. It's hopeful. It's a roadmap towards a better way towards uh, working and momming. And I say for moms, it's a hug and a sword. And for men, I invite you into the conversation. Chapter eight is how we can invite men into the conversation to give working moms the support they need and deserve. And um, it's just an invitation that we all have a hand in this. It's not just the right thing to do to support mothers and families in the workplace, Adrian. It's actually really good for our economy to do so. Yeah, well, you actually have on page 138 for anybody who gets the book, uh, a, a topic <laughs> of how to ask for a raise. So there's yes. scientific evidence in here there mm -hmm. are personal stories in here there's real yeah. advice and mm -hmm. I just I love this because so many moms are looking for a support system and, it, and it's best for women yes. to work together it is. And the reality is, Adrian, we're not in the 1950s anymore. You know, and I realized writing this book, I had a lot of blind spots about motherhood and family. But the reality is most moms are working today because they have to. And 70 percent of mothers uh, will be the primary breadwinner in their children's lives. So if we keep, continue to pay mothers 70 cents on the dollar, we'll continue cycles of debt and poverty. I firmly believe the reason that we are in the situation we're in in this country is because of two things. We don't value families and we don't value mothers and mothers in the workplace. Let's start celebrating mothers first and foremost, because if we don't have kids, we don't have a labor force. If we don't have a labor force, we don't have an economy and we can't grow our economy. Um, but let's start celebrating motherhood first and then um, really look at mothers as an asset in the workplace. Again, we're working because we have to. And parenthood is actually a masterclass for leadership. We're some yeah. of the most efficient and loyal and productive employees you can find. So stop discriminating against us and start valuing us. Yeah, so. Paula Ferris, always full mm -hmm. of wisdom and kindness. Oh. I still have some of the books that you've given me over the years and I am and recommended. You, and this is a book that we can recommend to you. It is, you don't have mm -hmm. to carry it all. Don't do yes. it alone. Ditch the mom guilt, That's find right. a better way forward. It's out now, wherever books are sold, right Paula? Yes, it is, Adrian, and it's the number one new release in motherhood. That's a testament. We want this Woo! to be a movement and a rallying cry for motherhood and for families, and we need allies. Um, Adrian, thank you for being an ally. It can't just be a bunch of moms in the in the ring. Oh, yeah. We need, we need I, love, women, I love me some moms, parents. even though I've yes. never been one. Go to PaulaFerrisOfficial.com. I love you, honey. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Adrian. Mwah. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.